It's morphing time. Hey guys, welcome back to another video and I wanted to introduce you to my new comic book collection. Yes, he's got another collection on the go yet again. If it's not games, it's comics, if it's not comics, it's annuals, kind of the same as a comic I guess. Anyway, so if you were a 90s kid, uh, the chances are you at some point watched Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And I think, to be honest, the majority of kids loved it back then. Um, it was definitely a monumental show in my childhood. Absolutely loved it. Seeing the Power Rangers morphing, fighting putties, uh, using Megazords to destroy the evil aliens. Rita Repulsa. Um, Goldar. Class is E. Look at him. Nice little Funko Pop. Sword's a bit bent, but I got him on uh, cheaply in a everything must go kind of sale. Goldar was awesome, wasn't he? Recently, Goldar came back in one of the latest series, apparently, I saw it on um, social media, and the original Red Ranger, Jason, was there to fight him. Uh, so that was pretty awesome. Well, I think it was a different version of Goldar. So I was like, pretty nice to see like something that happened in, what, 94? Um, it's still being done in 2020. It's one good thing about 2020. Um, another Fungo Pop, uh, Zack, a Black Power Ranger. He was pretty cool back in the day. He was one of my favourites. They're the only Funko Pops I've got. Anyway, the Funko Pops is not what I wanted to show you. But as a kid, um, I completely forgot about having these comics. Um, but I did have some Power Ranger comics. And I remember from those comics, uh, I had uh, posters from them on the wall. And I don't know why, but that memory just kind of slipped my mind. And I was more focused on the Bucky O'Hare comics, for example. And... Other things, resting posters I had on the wall. For some reason, completely forgot about Power Rangers posters. So, <laughs> without further ado, uh, so I was bored and I thought, oh, let's look at some Power Rangers comics on eBay. And this one came up. Um, so I thought, oh, yeah, these are the ones I used to collect. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 5, volume 1. And uh, what I want to show you guys about this one really is. It says down by here, Power Rangers, free Power Rangers chocolate. The original chocolate from like what, 94, 95 is still in there. How crazy is that? If I get this out, out of the packaging, I can show you properly. <laughs> so here's the comic. And it also says as well, if your chocolate is missing, please ask your news agent for one. Look how many... Uh, Kids go away with that, like ate it, and then said, Oh, I haven't got one. So, yeah, we've got uh, Trini on the front there. What was that? He showed up point. So, I've read a bit of this. And then some kind of monster. And here, guys, featuring the Red Ranger, is the original chocolate. Uh, so, no, there's no chance I'm eating this, not even for a challenge mat. Do not go there, it's not happening. What if it is still it's still is edible? No, it can't be. Ridiculous, right? So I picked this comic up and after going through it a little bit, I realized actually this is not the comics I used to collect. But um this is a proper like cartoony comic. Oh Lord Zed, how kick ass was he? One of my favourite characters from the Power Rangers series of all time. And I want to show you the poster in here. Oh, I'm gonna show you this bit. So we've got the Rangers morphing. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is the bit I want to show you. Right, so most boys back in the day, their first crush was uh, Kimberly, the Pink Power Ranger. I'm pretty sure this poster would have been on a lot of people's walls. Yep, can't argue that one. I'm sure, I'm sure I had different Power Rangers posters up. So why have I locked this memory out? Yeah, so it is basically, it's in this comic it has obviously puzzles to do, uh, plus probably a culling competition. 
colour up. Oh, very good, very good. Yeah, and other fun info and facts. Seems to be a side story about the lone android here, Alpha 5. These do look pretty cool. And then... There you go. I used to have some of these. So I don't know why you can see this because I can't see the camera, but the VHS tapes by here. This feature and what ones you can get. Uh, what was it? Green Revival? That's the one I used to have. Yeah, when Tommy first got introduced as a Green Power Ranger and he was working for Rita. Oh, man, such a classic show back in the day. I'm not sure, but I might have had Power Rangers wallpaper on, but I can't remember. Possibly. Anyway, Power Rangers offers loads of cool merchandise. A bit of Action Man on the back as well. Um, I did start getting into a bit of a Power Rangers phase a year or so ago. Uh, my best friend bought me a Tiger handheld Mighty Morphin Power Rangers game. That was awesome. I bought a retro Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, card game off the internet. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to start collecting those Power Rangers stuff. And then I stopped. And now suddenly I'm like kind of back into it. So... After doing a bit of more research, I don't know what I'm doing that accent for, I came across this comic on the internet, on CEB. I'm doing it again. Sorry, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Random nuts. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, these are the, the comics I used to collect. This is issue 5. Oh, there you go. So, you know, it's different. That's issue 5. It's issue 5. And look, it's still got the original transfer for Smartians, Smarty Aliens. How cool is that? I can actually remember this cover as well, I think, the green power engine there. And inside, yeah, this is what I remember the most. You'd have the contents page always looking like that in that format. Format? Format. And it would tell you sometimes, if, yeah, it would be like a bit of an episode guy. So episode 14, what was I say? Foul play in the sky. Ah, is that when her and Billy went on a plane or something or she did with her uncle? Yeah, it's, so it gives you an like, uh, yeah, it gives you an episode guide. It's pretty long as well. It's like over two pages. And then episode fifteen, Green Revival. There we go. Talking about that. So we'd have some of the parafans. What's that Trini there? The actors who played Trini tragically died quite young as well in a car crash. Oh. oh, yeah. Back in my Samar's advert. How awesome. Um, I might do a separate series going through these comics again. Here we go. Now, this is, these are the posters I used to have on my bedroom wall from these comics. So that's the Green Power Ranger. I can't remember if I had them all, though. And I, can't, I don't think there's a lot. Because I can't remember seeing... Uh, well, I haven't seen high numbers on eBay. I've just seen, like, maybe to eight odd so far. Yeah, so loads of cool stuff in there. Um, oh, here we go. We've got a dot to dot on the back as well of the Dragon Zord. Don't know why you guys can see that. Classic. Um, pretty good condition as well. Oh, yes. And something about Rita Repulsa. Absolutely classic. So, as well as that comic, I've also picked up issue 6, which is featuring Power Rangers the movie. So difficult to watch now. Me and my mates as a laugh watched it four years ago now, maybe. Oh, so, so difficult to watch. But like back in the day when you were a kid, you absolutely loved it. There's no denying that. Let's see if there's any posters in this one. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hang a banner. Yeah, we've kind of got the other Power Rangers time. Only a single page, not a double page splash. So Tommy gets his double page, we get that. Poor Trini. Man, so good, so good. Uh, as well as that one, we've got issue number four. So we've got four, five, and six. Um, I've also got another two ordered, but I can't remember what issues they were. I think one comes with the original door hangers. Door stop as well, that's cool. Let's see if we've got any posters in this one. I had this one. I remember it. That's pretty cool to own again. There you go. 
<laughs> plans. That back one might change, who knows. Um, okay, so what I was thinking of doing as well is collecting this comic, see what cool Power Rangers merchandise is out there. I know there's a lot of um, toy collectors on um, YouTube. I've watched a few of them as well. Absolutely obsessed with Power Rangers. I started collecting some of the the monsters, the aliens uh, figurines a while ago, like the one of all the eyes and Pudgy Pig, or whatever his name was. Um, so yeah, my journey of Power Rangers obviously started when uh, with Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and I watched the series up until Power Rangers in Space. Um, I got halfway through that, and I was getting to an age and a bit older, you're like becoming a teenager. You're in comprehensive school, and it was just like kind of lose interest a bit and you know you do grow things says the 33 year old guy who is now starting a power Rangers connection up um the last series i watched in full was turbo and i love turbo because for the first time they introduced um a kid as a power ranger justin um and i've <laughs> seen him as a, a kid power ranger i thought oh, it'd be so cool to be that guy i'd love to be a power ranger um the actor was a couple of years old, me, Blake Foster. And I mention him because I've talked to him a fair bit in the past on Facebook. Uh, years ago, we only had like 300 friends before you had pages. I added him on the off chance, started talking to him, and we talked quite a fair bit. Um, except my friend request. He used to comment on some of my statuses. Um, when my grandma passed away, he actually like, uh, sent his condolences, which was really nice. Um, I've got a couple of signed things off him as well, autographs in the past. And this came up on eBay, and I thought, uh, by a company called Celebrity Inc. So I thought I'd buy it, because it wasn't that expensive. So that's Justin in the middle, the Power Rangers Turbo Team. Uh, I can confirm it is his genuine autograph, because I have it, uh, once he sent me in the post. And yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. A bit of a nostalgia there, Blake Foster. Must have been, that's been, you know, so cool to be a kid and then to act in Power Rangers. Something you grew up watching and suddenly, like, you're the star of that show. is like, <gasps> crazy. So, yeah. Um, there's a Power Rangers Lightning Collection as well, figure collection, which I'm looking into. Uh, basically, they're releasing, like, action figures from, like, across the series. Uh, like, maybe the different Megazords, things like that. And I'm thinking... If I get a lot more space, it would be awesome to have a Power Rangers collection going. Um, so yeah, just wanted to in, uh, show you guys all of that. The comics, the autographs, um, the chocolate. Does anybody want that chocolate? Do you want to risk it? <laughs> After this year, do not risk it. Um, okay guys, I might get more Funkos. I don't know, I'm just going to go out there and have a look Power Rangers wise what there is. Anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments below if uh, you collected any of those comics growing up. If you've got if you've got your own collection going on now, did you were you a fan of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? Do you think it's a load of rubbish? Were you too old for it? Let me know. It'd be cool. Cool to know. Uh, so expect more future Power Ranger videos updates. And as ever, boom. Power up soon. <laughs>